because if you're uh, unattached from them, they're harder to recover on and get back to and defend. Number 22, Jeff Green on the floor for the first time. The well-traveled fourth-year player from Iowa State. After hitting his first four. Crowd loving that million-dollar move, five-dollar finish. And Bede has Gobert if he wants him. Instead finds Korkmaz for three and down it goes for Furkan Korkmaz. Again, the career high 20 in the loss Monday at Phoenix as the Sixers now have ripped off 11 straight, the game's largest lead at eight. Sprinkle the infield, Joe. Beg your pardon, six. As it relates to Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid, just helping them in all sorts of ways. Mitchell, they gang up on him. The result, a positive one for the Sixers. Richardson is fouled en route to the hoop. Reacting to what's happening out on the floor. You can see there, putting a little pressure and then the deflection. That leads to him running out. It expands to 6-14 in the game now for Donovan Mitchell. That's the second time he shot the ball tonight and been the first one to get the miss. Good hustle from 4-5. He did it on the other end in the first half. Al Horford now getting an opportunity. It's Korkmaz for a three, and he buried it. Furkan Korkmaz, his second three in as many tries off the bench. Good kick out from the post. A great swing from Josh. He it didn't even hesitate. Knew where he wanted to go. Mike Conley along with Donovan Mitchell in the Jazz backcourt. Rudy Gobert in the middle. Royce O'Neal, Boyan Bogdanovich, the forwards. There's the post up where you can see the fake. Bogdanovich interrupted by Horford. Tough pass for Korkmaz, couldn't handle it. But Korkmaz was trying to converge on Al when what he should have done was flare out and leave the same end space to size that one up. Korkmaz, it's for a three. Somehow got his rhythm to hit a three. Richardson breaking it free off the Mitchell miss. Sixers could use a nice close to this third quarter. It's a Richardson three. A starter before Rubio came to the Jazz. Played about half. Keep his dribble alive underneath the basket. That got Josh a look. He just couldn't make it. Or for that matter, Steve Nash. Yeah. Visited that. I'm watching him in warm-ups before the game. Is he's got a great arc on his shot. Not a lot of, very few are short shots. They all have a chance once they leave his hand. 2-3 zone by the Jazz. Right now it's a 9-2 Utah run. Horford again taking Bogdanovich. Are they able to take and hear the Jazz right now holding their largest lead? I know Rudy's in there, but there are too many jump shots being settled for right now. First half they were attacking the rim. They've gone away from that a little bit. Bogdanovich. It's in this one for the injured Ben Simmons. Korkmaz in there to deal with Bogdanovich, who misses inside. And Bede is the timeout. Creation? I mean, creativity. That's a whole other thing, creation. <laughs> <laughs> it's a much longer conversation. <laughs> yeah, right? And Bede off the Korkmaz miss and successfully banging it off of Embiid. And